The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you with me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two very excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time. Please welcome back Mr. JP. <laughs> all right, that's enough. That's enough. You need different intros for people. I know, but I only have a certain... Not that I don't like... I like the music. I just only have a certain amount of buttons. That's the problem. Don't worry, they're reprogrammable. He just doesn't reprogram them. Right. But you need something besides the best DEI hire. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nah. No? I kind of like it. That's like... So it's part of his name. It is. I think so. <laughs> that's how he. That's yeah, how he's known. That's how he introduces himself to dudes at bars. That's, for sure. Hi, I'm Absolutely. DEI hire JP. <laughs> yep. Definitely. Yes. Who hired you? A, a place that doesn't pay me yeah. money. <laughs> My checks are a little short. Yeah, that's uh, true. I'm uh, a DEI intern. Yeah. yeah right. Uh, but anyways, we also have a very excellent stand-up comedian who travels all over the country. Please I welcome love it back. When he says, but, but anyways, like Mr. Don't fuck Mike Stop talking. Baldwin. <laughs> This, coming back. Moving along, boys. Reminding me of Family Guy. It's like, that's right, folks. It's going to be a Mike episode. There's the clicker. Yep. Nobody'd blame you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to do mine, too. Uh, is that the funny thing you thought of saying? Yep. Uh, got good. it. Because on deal. Family Guy, he, he said Meg. <laughs> it's going to be a Meg episode. Yeah. But today, it's a Mike episode. That's, that's fine. Oh, man. See, but you can understand why that was funny. No, okay. I, for sure. Like that's, why yeah. there was humor in it. I'm Oh, yeah. I'm glad you did it. For sure. <laughs> You're welcome, everybody. Yes, everybody. Uh, we have an excellent episode for you today. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Shut it off and do something else. <laughs> <laughs> this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, we also make jokes that offend people who have very thin skin. So if that's you, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Also, yeah. people in wheelchairs. We we offend people in wheelchairs. <laughs> Sometimes. I know. Sometimes. I go out of my way not to. Uh, good for you, man. <laughs> I'll be like, what What are you looking at, regular guy? I'll start fights with them. That's how they know that they're equal. JP watches people push them into oncoming traffic. No, dude. <laughs> she tried to wheel herself into traffic. And he still watched. No, I didn't see that. Oh. She just, was just not in school for a while. Oh, okay. Heard, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Wow. Fine. I'm, um, I'm glad I wasn't here for that yeah. 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 experience. Me and my wife were offended. My uh, wife and I. Whatever. My wife. My wife. Uh, but yes, we are coming off of an excellent episode with my wife. Thank you to all of you guys who made very nice comments about my wife wanting her to replace me on the show. Oh, Fuck I thought you. But how many comments were uh, inappropriate? Uh, none. Really? None. No. We have no. Our fans are nothing <laughs> if not appropriate. <laughs> I, I feel the opposite based uh, on some of the questions we get asked. You know? Yeah. Uh, you should feel the it's opposite. It's like, how many buttholes would you make a day? And then they're just you like, your to. wife was very charming. Yeah. And it's like, wait, what? You don't have anything? All right. Yeah. It's true. But uh, no, thank you very much. Uh, She did have a good time. We kind of had to do an emergency recording because of audio issues. Oh, no. And then we had more audio issues at the end of that fucking episode, which fucking pissed me off. 
Uh, but the good news is I really think we got it figured out. At least for, for what it's worth, I hope. I hope we do. Oh, I, just read, I just read a couple of these questions, <laughs> and I'm feeling right at home. <laughs> <laughs> these are great. I know. They're awesome. And the uh, overrated and underrated. We're yeah, bringing we're back. bringing it back this episode. Nice. Uh, I guess uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, this is the vacation episode, meaning oh. I'm on vacation right now. Right now, as so, you watch this. So yeah. we have to guess the news. Oh, okay, well, we'll get to that in a second. But first of all, we <laughs> he's, have... He's persistent. I know. I know he is. There's no news, is my point. That right. is true. Uh, That's but, but we why we're doing overrated do, and underrated. We do have overrated or underrated back. We have never have I ever. That's where I draw the line. Oh. That's where I draw the line. Is that what you wanted? Yeah, man. Okay. Come on. Get with the program. Fine. If you're going to run the board, run the fucking board. All right. And then we also have questions. <laughs> Image to <and> me. <laughs> We are just going to fuck around this episode because this is an extra one for you. I'm not fucking you know what around. I, when, no. I first, when we first came down here, I was like, I'm going to try to interrupt Scotty as much as possible because I know like, out of all the things that I do, yeah. that's what pisses you off the most. Oh, no. Why do you, you want to piss that? off your friend, dude? Yeah, that's fucked because up. Because I'm going to be staying at his house for a week. So so I have to be nice uh, to him in the meantime. Yeah. Because or else do you know you what won't, kind of things or, I could do? Oh, no, I'm staying. I mean, you could Dude, we, obviously we, come in things. Oh, a but, lot of things. But you shouldn't. No, no. I do a lot of things I shouldn't. <laughs> but I bet that won't be one of no, them. No, man, I, I'm very respectful. You strike me as a lot of things, but not as a guy that would maliciously no. come in something at no. a friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> I, I add you, should that, inv- you should invite me over then. I add that last <laughs> caveat because I feel like you are the kind of guy that would be like, I'm going to go come in my enemy's mayonnaise <laughs> dude, and one, fucking stir it up and put it back. Dude, right. one night I was at my, out the bar with my friend Jamie and some guy like... Deuce Deuce? No. Okay. Uh, he started... Uh, I don't know what he did to Jamie, but it pissed him off. And Jamie went and fucking jerked off and shot a load all over his windshield. <laughs> oh my god! And then we left. Yeah. That's a that's a little excessive. Oh, it was awesome, but kind of funny. Oh, it was awesome. No, but the thing is, is that everybody has to realize as much as JP wants to fuck with me while we're on vacation, there is another human being that lives in this house who he does not want to piss off. No, I because she's yeah. a sweet, sweet woman. But if you piss her off, <laughs> yeah, she can get kind of angry. The Ooh. claws come out. You wouldn't like her when she's angry. Yeah, but I don't know. I've I've known some people that are angry, and I'm like, I I still care for that person. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I feel like the Hulk that he, like he didn't consider that. Oh, okay. People would be like, I I still like you, dude. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's I don't know. Who knows. But uh, let's kick the show off. Oh, is it not started yet? <laughs> I mean, it has, I mean, but but unfortunately, we, yes. Yeah, but we need to start this with our week <clears throat> week recap. Um, this just so happens to be the very next day after we recorded last week's show. So JP and myself don't don't have a lot. I went and played some video games with a friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. Smoked some pot. Yeah. Turns out. Oh, okay. It's exactly the same thing I do if I have a full week. <laughs> I was going to say that. That sounds like a lot of activity for just a day. For real. I meet. I'm for real. I know. It doesn't seem much different for me. I know. That's not good. That's sad. Uh, well, I don't like that. I think you're just a happy person. <laughs> <laughs> oh get, yeah, dude. Get, I never sit at home in the dark and cry for no reason, man. <laughs> it Not ebbs and flows though. When <laughs> yeah. when it rains, it pours. Yeah. yeah. Like when you do stuff, then you're like, man, I've been I did a lot of stuff. And people are like, wow, let's turn it up. We gotta hear about this. JP finally did something. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that was my week. You did or, have a story. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna tell that. You oh. don't? No, because oh. I, I don't wanna what if it's not? What so, if it's all right, not? So, what if it's not? Then it's yeah. a great thing. So there's this guy that I've been talking to off and on, just on Facebook. Okay. Or whatever, and we'll text here and there. But it's been so long since I talked to him that our numbers have changed. Okay. Because he said he tried to text me. But anyway, he's really cute. I mean, I really like the him. The pictures like, that he sends you. Well, yeah. You want to see some? Nope. Good. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, thanks for giving us the warning. Though. But anyway. <laughs> and not just being like, here's this. Check this out. Check this out. There you go. Yeah. 
No, but he seems really sweet and he's really nice yeah. and he seems like it's it's just weird because he's like I've been into you for years and it's been like 20 years off and on just that we just chat here and there. I've never met him. He lives in Washington. He discovered the podcast. DC Maybe. or state. That's what it was. Not I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. Probably DC. Mm. Why? Why probably DC? I don't know. He seems like a DC kind of guy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't fucking know. Does he have suits on in his pictures? Some of them. Dude, you might Dude, uh, you might be talking to an insider. Yeah. I might be. Somebody that can get but you the scoop. Here's the thing, like what if it's a catfish? <laughs> Like, I don't know what they would be fishing for first. <laughs> That's what I said. Like a 20 year long catfishing. Right. Would that be a record? I think it has to be. It would definitely be. But here's the thing. What's he catfishing? That's kind of what I was saying. I was saying, like, w- if he was catfishing, why would he be catfishing JP? You am, know, am because I even, I'm fucking sexy. Whatever. Am I allowed to say my theory? On, yeah, what you got? Isn't this on uh, YouTube? Yeah, this is. Can yeah. I speculate murder? Oh. oh. Am I allowed to do that? I don't even think you can say murder. I don't think so either, but we're not we're not monetized but we're not anymore. We're never getting monetized. So, so, so okay. go right ahead. Go right ahead. What if he just wants to fucking kill you? <laughs> <laughs> For 25 years? What if he <laughs> like has the... just been stringing you along? <laughs> but and... there's no there's no stringing me along. It's That's not like... like we we talk on fucking messenger or chat whatever text yeah. and he's it's like i'm like, gonna just keep this guy in my life just in case i feel like if killing someone I get just, to get a hankering for some murder and <laughs> i mean it could be and then the Maybe, other day dude. he was like you know what i think it's time. i haven't hit him up for a while who do i have yeah Ooh, he huh. looks nice what yeah. is he on a successful podcast <laughs> <laughs> that's probably what did me in. let's bring yeah. that motherfucker down a few that's notches what did it. i think extremely successful is the word you were looking <laughs> exactly, for exactly that's right uh, but anyway no but i don't i i am very i'm very happy with you i hope it works out if you keep anyway, on shaking your fucking legs nothing's gonna work out man. <laughs> he's in washington uh, you never know kansas is a beautiful place no nobody <laughs> wants to come to kansas and could you imagine coming to kansas and then seeing me in person going oh <laughs> you know that's a long trip. It's a long trip. I, wow. Yeah, I can't imagine. A, it's just a it's just a plane flight away though. That's true, man. Yeah, everything's only yeah, a just, I wouldn't plane do right it. Away. Sam, in I, and out. I wouldn't do it. I've uh, heard I heard a story of a guy who went on like a blind date or or a, her profile pictures were misleading or whatever, and she was standing in the next to the sidewalk, and he pulled up and was just like, nope, and just drove <laughs> off. And I'm like, I can't even imagine doing that to a person. What, what? I cannot believe I've never told this story before. All right. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. My first, my freshman year of college, I was talking to uh, a girl right after I got out of a bad breakup and uh, just kind of somehow met on Facebook and I don't know how it all occurred. That's kind of like this guy. I don't even yeah. remember. So this is not boding well for your story. Oh, <laughs> so, no. so all of a sudden I get, I'm like, I don't know exactly how we met, but we started messaging back and forth or like commenting or however the fuck you did it back then. And, uh, AOL, eventually exactly. Aim. And it was, it was aim. And like, we finally decide after like talking for like, I don't know, maybe like a month and a half, two months, You're gonna meet? we're going to meet. Oh, and boy. she was like, well, let's meet at my house in Newton, Kansas. And I said, all right, it's dude, close enough. dude, chick was a bombshell. Newton, Kansas from here uh, is Her like pictures were a bombshell. I'm getting there. Yeah. New- oh. Newton is yeah. like 35. This is, uh... 30, it's one of those situations. Oh, yeah. 35 to 45 minutes away and from where lot, I live. And there are a lot of pretty people in Newton. There are. I agree. I, I mean. Dis- I doubt that very much. Yeah. I, I mean. <laughs> I, I'm guessing Miss Newton isn't well, a fox. I, mean, I bet Miss Newton is. Oh, yeah. his Miss Newton. <laughs> yeah. Probably not. No, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. But if, there was, if, if you the assume that Miss Newton Newton. Newton is the most beautiful woman in Newton, Kansas, well, then, then yeah. I, I bet I she's so that. fucking oh, hot. Yeah. Right. Of course. But well, every town about. should have that. I'm sorry, Scotty. So Back to that's your okay. The very first time. It's more like a fig. I, <laughs> I'm already red flagged because I pull into the driveway and I actually see mom first. And mom needed a fucking forklift to put oh, herself on, in the man. house. So Damn I'm it. like, ah, that didn't look like her. And then but it was her. A complete <laughs> it's her now. And totally different chick walks out 
And I am just like, oh, well, well, I guess I've been talking to you for long enough. Let's let's, let's see how it goes. No, that's not what you do. <laughs> I did. I did. No. And so what? Was she was not attractive? Uh, she was still cute. Was I would she, say cute. She was large. The pic- no, she was not. Not uh, large. The pictures that she was using were, were her cousin. Okay. And uh, yeah. And so, yeah, it was catfish. But, well, but you ago. went with it. I, she hooked you. She dragged you up onto the bank. Did, uh-huh. She held you up for the pictures and did, everything. Did I not start this story off with I was going through a terrible breakup and just I needed You fucked pussy. her, didn't you, dude? No, I, did never, I never did. Oh, uh, you did. Never did. I think we kissed one time, and I was just like, yeah, that's enough. So, uh, so I don't You're crazy, what Scotty. What was wrong with her? Like what she was, uh, uh, did she smell weird? No, no, no. Nothing, nothing. Did her house smell weird? That is, I don't you, remember. If you got a mom that size, odds are <laughs> your house smells. Your house weird. smells weird. Be honest with you, man. I didn't really ever go in there. Oh, okay. So Never you picked really her did. up and took her elsewhere. He blew. He, she blew him in the car. No, in his driveway. Yeah. No, no. We were uh, something happened. No, dude. we. This was. I. I eventually. I don't. I don't I, necessarily I have, think it did. I. Well, I eventually smart. I'm gonna need up. you to come on. Get on my side, dude. <laughs> I can totally <laughs> see Scotty just being <laughs> like, "All right, well, I had a good well, time. Okay, let's see where this." And her goes. being like, "Okay." But you gotta remember, I've talked to her for like a couple of months, and she and, seemed pretty cool. And then, did you stop after that? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. But this is been 20 years oh yeah i go in the making i wonder what oh yeah this was a matter of months yeah right i mean you're you're you have a much better a much higher percentage that this is not a catfish so i would say anyways uh i guess i don't really have much uh i I just hope not i don't yeah i I, right now i'm on a vacation i'm walking through multiple areas in disney and having a terrible time being chased by fucking kids on roller coasters i thought you were gonna say fans (laughs) (laughs) oh my god 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 damn damn right i mobbed by our fans our mob by our 17 and 18 year old fans at disney yeah yeah i was looking into the numbers and the uh the laughing on the sidelines slash disney crossover (laughs) ratio is is very high yeah Yeah, uh no i don't i don't see that i'm pretty sure i'm not allowed at disneyland Uh, i think that if you carried around rainbow flags everybody good you'd be fine as long as i identify myself oh yeah yeah absolutely just say excuse me sir we noticed you're here without any kids yeah oh oh, i came for the kids just (laughs) just let them all know that you're a part of the cast of the of the new star wars saga the gay wizards from outer space or some oh, okay. shit like that. Cool. That's going to be the next one. Yeah, that's right. Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, pretty much. So, but anyways, yeah, that's, that's all I've got. Uh, I'm going to hand it over to Mike. Mike actually has a, a week, week recap to get to since, uh, he hasn't been here for a couple of weeks. So yeah, Mike, how you been buddy? Uh, I've been good. I went to, well, first I got booked in Kansas city. Oh uh, yeah. Last minute. And it was after I was here the last time, so I couldn't advertise the oh. show, which uh, didn't really matter because I was opening for uh, Jay Chandra Sekar, who is uh, the dude with the mustache from the Super Trooper movies. Oh, cool. And, and a super cool dude. And he like directed a bunch of shit. Uh, like episodes of Community and some other stuff. Like time he's out. A big time director. What? Time out. Every single one of the cops in Super Troopers have a mustache. I was waiting just for Just throwing it out there. I was there. just waiting for you to just say that. Just pointing that oh, out. You're talking about the black dude, right? I am, yeah. yeah. Okay. That, why didn't right. you just say that? You should have said Because yeah. <laughs> I think he's more memorable for the mustache in the movie. <laughs> I, d- I mean, they all had mustaches. He's, he's famous Have you for, seen the movie? He quotes the line, or he says the yeah. line, who, who wants, wants a, a mustache, mustache right? I do. I do. So I he's like the one. I've been fun. I've been fun. One. He's do, the do. mustache guy. <laughs> like that. Okay, I get it. All right. I'm just. I knew who you're talking about right away. But yeah, good attempt. They I didn't even think about it. Yeah. It's I and I just watched the movie after we worked together because I saw it on whatever and I was like, you know what? I'm fucking, I'm diving in again. Well, next time, think about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, that's it's interesting Dude. though. It's like when they show you a picture of whatever and they're like, all right, how many uh, lunch boxes were in the picture that you just saw? And you're oh, like, fuck, fuck, I don't know. I forgot to even look. That's how I felt. And it's like the episode of The Office where they're like, uh, you know, like 10 to 1 odds whether Stanley has a mustache or not. <laughs> and everybody's like, I don't fucking know, dude. He does like, have like one. Like, I never really looked at him, but I see him all but the time. But you don't, like, when you first watch that episode, you're not even sure. That's my That's point. That's the best. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's how uh, I was with Super Troopers. Anyway. Anyway, sorry. So I did that, and I uh, didn't have enough money to order more shirts and i don't have credit cards anymore because i am the whole bankruptcy i'm thing. bad at them yeah. yes I'm and, bad at them. and so the credit card company was like you're bad at this <laughs> you can't do this anymore uh so i didn't have enough money to order shirts before i went so i sold what shirts i had left and then i ordered more friday night after i transferred the money over and so then i was booked in dallas texas the following week at hyenas comedy club mm -hmm. and oh, that's awesome and yeah. and dude and it's one of the best places to sell shirts yeah. and the shirt order that i made on friday was not ready oh. by the oh, time i went fuck. they were like way behind and oh. so yeah so i went to dallas with no no shirts to sell and instead of making an you extra, you should have just like, sold the ones that you brought with you, dude. I I did. <laughs> I I like, took like the ones off your back. Yeah, I mean. exactly. I took Ninja's Hate Crunchy Leaf shirts out of my closet before I left, like ones oh, that I've wow. worn for oh, years. Jesus. What? And I sold those. <laughs> of course. And I even told him like these are mine. Like yeah. these aren't like shirts from the box. You gotta or whatever. sign them or something. Yeah, something. I did. Okay. The people good. that wanted them signed, I did. But good, people good that don't, I'm not like, I'm going to sign it too. And they're like, but I just, I don't want that. I don't care what you want. This is mine. <laughs> it's just, that's got to be one of the weirdest feelings. It's like somebody comes up and just wants a photo. Look, just, this is how poor to, I am. You want me to, no, it's, it's, ha it's happened before. It's like, uh, somebody wants like a selfie with, uh, with us in public and they'll come up and be like, yeah, can I get a selfie? We're all like, sure, absolutely. And then somebody says, you you want me to sign something? And they're like, nah, yeah. selfie's good. <laughs> yeah, this works. That's funny. Uh, anyway, sorry. Sorry to interrupt your... your no, I, I know exactly what you mean, because I've seen other comedians be like, you want me to sign it? And they're like, no. No, mm. I'm, no I'm good. Like, yeah. And so that I've learned to not do that. Yeah. So and But then I have people come back after they've bought a shirt, and they saw the other person at the bar with their shirt <laughs> signed. And they're like, oh, you're signing them too? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, if you ask. Anyway, it, it, none of that matters. I had fun in Dallas. It was a good time. The shows were awesome, and uh, the clubs are awesome. And I'll be back in uh, in the that area, DFW. I'll be in Fort Worth at Hyenas, but not until, like, November. But something. next weekend. Oh, yeah, next weekend I'm at. Uh, this weekend. Well, I'm saying this coming weekend. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, what, yeah. Good call. Thank what, you, JP. Whatever the 21st God, is. Man. Yeah. Saturday the 21st, I'm going to be... What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> fucking around. I'm going to be with Nick Allen from the morning radio stuff uh, at Jerry's Bar and Grill in Turon, Kansas, which is somewhere wow. west, I believe. I bet that'll be fun. And then the following week, on the 27th, I'll be at the Filling Station Bar and Grill <laughs> in Grand Island, Nebraska. So if you guys don't think things are going well for Mike Baldwin, you, you can just change your mind now. Things are great. I'm at the filling station, you guys. Things are I, really going I made well. It. <laughs> I'm not in regular Island, Nebraska. I'm in Grand Island, Nebraska. He's performing outside. <laughs> fucking next, at the pump. Next to gas pumps that yeah. were made in the fucking 60s. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't think they do gas there anymore. Uh, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so that's Friday the 27th. <laughs> Saturday the 28th, I'll be back at the Brick House in Hastings, Nebraska. That okay. sounds had, less... <laughs> that sounds better. That sounds better. It's <laughs> probably not, but it sounds better. I've been to the Brick House yeah, a few cool. times, and it, it packs out. Dude, it, I always think of Mitch Hedberg's thing, where they're like, what's your favorite place to do comedy? And yeah, he's like, packed out. A big room with a bunch of people yeah. in it. <laughs> and so, yeah, like the uh, all of those shows are awesome, especially when you go to small towns and stuff. They're like, like this the, yeah, honey it's a real live comedian the whole town knows yeah, that there's you're, like yeah. you'll see the sign that says population 199 and, and you're you like god damn show, it i hope they all show up you're like how many <laughs> tickets we sell and they're like 198 <laughs> like, oh man that's awesome chuck doesn't feel good right yeah he said he's sorry he wishes he could make it 
No, oh, it's comedy's great. awesome. So what else have I done? Yeah, what uh, else have you done? I mate? mowed the lawn today. I got a little sun. They get down. I, I feel I'm. Yeah. I can feel the burnness. So in a few days, my head's gonna peel. And you look I, great. And then I get to be that guy who doesn't have hair but still has dandruff flaking <laughs> off of the top of his head. Just it's use awesome. lotion, man. Just lotion. That's it. Well, I don't see how masturbating is gonna solve <laughs> all this <laughs> problem. But I'll give it a try. Yeah, I mean, no shit. <laughs> it's worth a shot. <laughs> All right, let's get to. Uh, you want to jerk okay. off? I, no, I oh. don't. Oh no, <laughs> no, I'm like, no! I don't. I, That's JP's only hands account. What were you saying? Do you want to? To I don't know. I'm just saying. We. I mean, we've got time. We. That's all we got on our hands today for this show. Well, I got nothing left. Go ahead and start. Okay, fine. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for the very few of you. I know it was very last minute, uh, but we did put out a vacation special Monday fun day that some of you did were able to comment on and some of your uh, selections or your suggestions we did pick and some of you we didn't uh, be- and we just made kind of our own stuff. JP's text. Scotty shit. made the picks. I, I so. mean, yeah, but this is like test week. So it's yeah. like, who's better at doing this shit? Yeah. You guys or Scotty <laughs> by himself? Yeah. Right. Okay. And we'll judge that based on how good this episode That's is. That's right. But there's still people every single time we do a month day fun day, even after we've said for many, many episodes, hey, we're not doing overrated or underrated anymore. They They're still do still it. They still do it. And every okay. once in a while, you actually get a good one that you kind of put on a different spreadsheet. That's like, if we ever decide to go back, that's let's get that one. one. Yeah. There was one of those. And oh. that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, After all this time, one of you did a great job. One of you job. did a great job. And that particular individual's name is Zach Thomas. Uh, so I yes, feel like I could have come up with this in about two seconds. I'm, I don't know why you're tooting his horn I'm just, over I'm, roundabouts. I'm, I'm just saying there are so many that we've already done. I get it, but so, I'm pretty yeah. sure this is probably one of them. Nope. Uh, but anyways, we kick you off don't know. overrated or underrated, and this comes in from Zach Thomas. He he wants to know overrated or underrated roundabouts. Way to go, Zach, you genius. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is a good fucking question. I don't dislike them. Oh. I say overrated. <gasps> oh, man, I dislike them very, yeah, very much. They're dumb. I, I that hate one down them. there by uh, by the is it where is it by that? Uh, Oh, um, downtown Doug, yeah, on Douglas. On Douglas, yeah, by the fucking yeah, whatever restaurant. That it's is. yeah, it's like a, not an old town, but it's, it's downtown. It's so stupid. It's dumber than dog shit. There's no reason for it to be no. there. No, and you don't know why. You know why roundabouts fucking suck? Why? It's not because they they're not a good idea on paper. On paper, it's a great idea. Like socialism. Oh, <laughs> that's also true. Uh, but no, on a, they're a good idea. But the only thing is, is that we are bad drivers here. There are bad drivers that don't know how to use roundabouts and they fuck it up for everybody else. They mm. don't know how to use them. And so that's why they're overrated. Good idea, but kind of shitty in practice. So that's my, uh, I, I think they're yeah. overrated. I, uh, I'll rephrase mm. my answer and I will say a well-placed, <laughs> wisely used roundabout <laughs> is, is <clears throat> fine with me. Yeah. With no traffic whatsoever. Sure. But that's different than, I mean, it's any, you know, stop signs are fine. If the fucking idiot in front of you uses it. Correct. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Like saying, if yeah. you don't know how to use the stop sign, then you'd be like, why the fuck do we even have these? They're stupid. That's right. There needs to be more three way stops out there. Right. JP. Yep. I don't think that joke made it to an dude, episode. Three way dude. It did too make it. <laughs> I think that was the one with Clayton. <laughs> Three way stops. No, so no it wasn't. It, okay. wasn't. it was the uh, week before. So one direction just gets yeah. to go. One, why would they you want? ever have a four way stop? That's yeah. stupid. Just a three way. Three way is all you need. That's it. If I, the other three stop, the other guy doesn't have to. I want to argue with that, <laughs> but, but it's, it's logic. But if you are going this way, then the guy going parallel to you in the opposite direction <laughs> such would, a should idea. have the right of way also. No, no. because what no. if he wants to turn? Yeah, absolutely. No, only one person can can have can always run. go always go. Huh? So three way stop. There's no reason for four way stop. You're wasting a whole stop sign. If every four way stop in the in the fucking United States had took one away less, one less stop sign, do you know how much metal billions we would, of uh, dollars, billions, <laughs> billions <laughs> trillions of, of dollars, dude? The vast number of car accidents that this would cause. <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> worth no, it. No, no, it's fine. More that, scrap metal. More that scrap way, metal. gets to just go now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, right. what? <laughs> if you're going north, yeah, no dude. Stop. Yeah, bro. I think it's. I think it's a great idea. Never stop north. 
<laughs> that's the rule that's now. The rule. <laughs> yeah. If you're going north, there's yeah, no stop. There's no stop. Oh, uh, shit. That's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> I've, uh, but I can see the logic behind it. I mean, there's no reason for everyone to stop. <laughs> Let's not fuck everybody's day up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a new t shirt. Never stop north. <laughs> what does that shirt mean, dude? <laughs> yeah, what's that shirt mean? It's a oh, it's like minute it's conversation. The, it's the just, idea or that. Or a shirt that just says, save the stop sign. As long as you're traveling north in a vehicle, you never have to I'm gonna, stop. I'm going to get a foundation called Save the Stop Signs. Oh, my God. I don't know. If you didn't think that was funny, you have no personality whatsoever. Uh, but anyways, all the rest of the suggestions weren't very good. So uh, we're going to move so on. Scotty came up with his own. <laughs> I just found some that I thought were kind of It seems funny. like I came up with these. I know. These are definitely Like every JPs. one of them. I know. Every one of them from here on out. Yeah. Seems like I came up and with this it. This is just the idea of them. But anyways, uh, next one comes. He's got dick on the brain. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, thanks, JP. You're welcome. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated flavored condoms? Overrated. Way overrated. Why? Condoms in general. <laughs> I never use them. I don't understand this. Why would you this use is, that? This is the dumbest fucking thing out of yeah. anything. Why make the condoms flavored? Does your vagina have a fucking taste bud? No, it's to try to get a condom Do they blow not? job. But why would you want a Do condom blow job? I mean, some of them. But oh, okay. Some of them have was, teeth. I was just under the impression they could taste. <laughs> just because the same, the same girl that's like, I'll only suck your dick if it yeah. tastes good, is the same girl that's like, I'll Mike's only... Mike's like, banana cream. Here I'll you only go, suck baby. your dick if you put a condom on first. Yeah. And you're like, boom, two birds, <laughs> two baby. Two birds, one And stone. plus, why the fuck would you ever want to suck a dick with a condom on <laughs> See, that's What's what, the point? Because like, you're a prostitute. Even, even a dude. Like, why would you ever want a blowjob with Make, a condom on? That's why the flavored condom exists for gentlemen yeah, okay. who want to get blowjobs from, from prostitutes, from prostitutes okay. that are smart enough to make a guy put a condom Still overrated. On. This is so overrated. He's fancying up for the lady. <laughs> Ooh, have I got a treat for you tonight? <laughs> what did you I say? I don't have 50, like? but I'll tell you what. I'll give you 30, and one, two, three, four, seven. seven. <laughs> And, and I'm gonna wear a flavored condom. And the condom that I have <laughs> tastes like what'd you say? Banana, banana pudding. <laughs> banana pudding. That's even better. I do <laughs> like banana pudding, but I wouldn't. <laughs> but I wouldn't guy. suck a dick for it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mike just opens up and puts it in his mouth like he's yeah. fucking chewing gum. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is fucking good. <laughs> 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 wasn't that on a tv show or something oh, where they got oh. stranded on an island and there were just edible like a truckload of edible panties <laughs> I don't know. they survived like an extra however long uh, that well you never know they I, still I never died saw they but still they were full of panties when they did that's right uh next one overrated or underrated having a very large penis well i feel like i'm the only one that can talk about this i was gonna say i i wouldn't know I say it's it can be both, but I will say underrated because it's benefited me more than not. If anything, it, it, it makes you feel good. There was a, there's been a couple times, like one time in Oklahoma City, we went to a drag show. It was Oklahoma City, Miss Oklahoma City something, whatever. Anyway, one of the girls had backup dancers, and this guy was, oh, my God, he was hot. And I was like, dude, I looked over at my friend Grant, and I was like, man, I don't know, fuck him. By the by, the end of the night, I'm he's just going to be in my hot bed. chicks, as you're saying. This. And so I'm like, he's like, yeah, right, whatever, laughing. And uh, Grant and I, we were sharing, we were sharing a room. And uh, the next morning, I fucking woke up and I kind of look over, and Grant's in bed, and uh, he just kind of rolls over and looks over, and that dude's in bed with me. And he's <laughs> like, he just shakes his head. But we didn't even get to do anything because we fucking you started messing fuck around. With we started messing around and. We fucking got naked, and he's like, holy shit, you're not putting that in me. And I was like, well, you're not fucking putting that in me. So we just bump pussies and called it good, oh dude. God. You know what I mean? You just oh. smushed yeah, your heads we, together. Yeah. You jousted. So we didn't get a fuck, because neither one of us were willing to fucking oh. take that L. But, uh, yeah. No. So anyway. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Great. Good job. Uh, how about you, Mike? No, I've never 
fucked a guy. What? <laughs> what was the question? I don't think that's the question. I haven't done this. Overrated or underrated having a very large penis? <sighs> oh, I would assume. It has nothing to do with fucking a guy. I would assume that it's underrated. <laughs> yeah, I'm it is. sure that it's awesome. Mine's yeah. Yeah. quite adequate. <laughs> mine's Mine fine. Adequate. Mine's, mine's just fine. I'm perfectly okay with it. But if it was way, if it was abnormally large, that would be. I feel like it would hinder it would hinder me somewhat. Yeah, but Sometimes. I only think that because I, I I don't have one. Like I don't know for sure, but have you seen the Mountain? The guy who is called the Mountain. He, he was in Game of Thrones. He, okay. He's the huge fucking bodybuilding motherfucker. But what's his cock look like? See, I have no idea. But the woman he is dating, I swear to God, comes up to below his goddamn hip. Oh, and man, I'm he just like, her and choke like, her at the same like time. seriously. Like, so he like touches her heart with it. I'm sure. <laughs> you know what I'm when saying? he comes, it looks like she's throwing up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's just fucking ejector seat. Just oh, right off. Of nice. it. But yeah, anyways. Okay. Uh, all right. Wow. These are getting good. <laughs> these are good. I'm telling you. Uh, next one. Overrated. <laughs> I know he does have dick on the brain. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, bro. He's like, I wonder uh, what Listen, what of my friends would eat I, a flavored condom if yeah, I put it on. He's, uh, this is the vacation episode. Tell me about I, your large penis. I was I was writing this episode today, and I was like, you know what? We haven't been ridiculously vulgar throughout the whole episode well, in a we're while. we're turning that around in a heartbeat. Couldn't be like best what? cookie recipes yeah, or something. fucking We best. are no longer... Overrated or underrated? Peanut butter cookies. We are no, <laughs> no longer no, monetized let's change anyways. that flavored condom. <laughs> we are no longer monetized We anyways. were monetized once? At one point, yeah. Oh, then we, that's we, weird. Then we started gaining followers and then like and followers then, got in and they were like, holy shit, that was like, the, a, like fuck. Uh, but yeah. So anyways, yeah. Uh, the next one is overrated or underrated voyeur sex video videos of your friends <laughs> underrated <laughs> yeah it depends on the friend really i think it depends on the friend i would but i would I'd say underrated too i would click on anybody that i knew <laughs> just to just, just to out of see him fascination yeah. and curiosity you know scientifically that, speaking that's what's going to happen one day dude the entire electronic system is going to get hacked and it's going to get put online and you'll be able to type in anybody's name and a date if you want and just see anything that they did on their phone that day Sure. And, and your camera is constantly looking at you. Like all of that information is out there. So. God, I can't wait. It scares the fuck oh, out of me. I mean, me. it'll be awesome. And 10% of the population will kill themselves immediately. Another 10 to 20% will murder someone. A whole bunch of criminals will go to jail immediately. Like it will change the whole fucking world. But everybody that's, get really popular. everybody that's left will uh, be like, hey, we're all fucking weirdos, man. Let's yeah, just, let's fucking, let's just uh, uh, move man. on. All right. So I'm going to go with overrated on this. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, we kind of went off topic there. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, definitely there, like, yes, there are some hot people that I know that I would not mind Thank you. seeing, not you. Thank you very much. Or Mike, for that matter. What? But some people I know, I'd be like, yeah, I that, I wouldn't mind seeing, but I definitely don't. By these don't. questions, it seems like you wouldn't wouldn't mind seeing. No, uh, I'm I'm very, very yeah, positive. I would, so, I would click on either one of you guys but I just have, for a minute, you know? I actually have oh, the male magical power. <laughs> click on either one right? of Thanks, you. buddy. <laughs> Thanks. I, if just somebody texts, if, if Biggs texted me and yeah. was like, did you see that video of JP jerking yeah. off? I'd yeah. be like, what? No, but I would send still, it to me. I would send still it click me. on it out yeah. of curiosity. Holy of fuck, that is JP. Oh, wow, Jesus. he does have an alright size cock. Yeah. He wasn't <laughs> oh my god. But just out of respect, not <laughs> not gay. No. Not gay. There's just a comment from Mike. It just says I'm respect. Not, I'm not gay <laughs> yeah, or respect. anything, but respect. Mike Baldwin. Respect. <laughs> oh, god. I'm gonna go overrated. Absolutely uh, it's not. It's definitely underrated. Whatever. All you right. would go overrated. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? <laughs> Overrated but or what, underrated? What about the inside of it, though? <laughs> overrated or underrated? Having a ridiculously high sperm count. Way underrated. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Is that even a question? You, yes. You want a high sperm count? Absolutely. J does JP. That, I don't mean, that doesn't the, necessarily mean the volume. No. No. That does not mean what you're thinking. Oh. 
Yeah, if you accidentally got shit face drunk, thought you were fucking a drag queen, turns out it's a chick and got her pregnant. Now you're dead. Yeah, wouldn't that? But be I would great? never do that. <laughs> you would never do that. So we're not talking about volume here. What happens if the one chick you slept with that smelly, stinky vagina in your car? Yeah, I you, didn't fuck her though without you, a condom. And you, it doesn't I, matter. Two condoms. In fact, the sperm count is no. so large that it actually ate through a gall, small hole in the condom. You and made a gremlin. Dude. You're screwed. Wow, I nice. don't think the sperm. You made a gremlin. You are through it. <laughs> you are now. If it <laughs> does, if it does, you but, are now a dad. Well, and see, and I'm like thinking of this in two ways i'm like if you're philip rivers this is underrated if you're tyreek hill it's oh, overrated well, you, he does yeah. obviously so child support uh, 17 okay. different ways so well, i still say underrated okay that's <laughs> i'm gonna that's i'm gonna look at it my way <laughs> i'm gonna go just because you just want <laughs> where my whole face is just drenched <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> i've seen videos like that where i don't i wanted to look like i just had a bowl pudding in front of me went <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I've seen videos though where the, the you know it's, the title is like "Come on her face." See my eyes, my mouth hole. And no! but they only show they don't show any of the dude's body. They just show the dick, but yeah. beyond the camera, and uh. it's clearly a fake dick. Yeah, exactly. But it's just like a gallon of cum. Yeah, I, that's what I would like my dick to do. <laughs> it's actually a callback on the show. I believe it's called Bukake. <laughs> Bukake. <laughs> Bukake. I, isn't that just? Oh, I love it. Come at all? I don't know. No, that's where a whole bunch it's of people get together. Come. It's excessive, <laughs> and they all come on your face that's or it. in your ass. Yeah. It's just uh, one poor little bottom uh, just get, getting his hopes and dreams <laughs> made. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this oh, week's overrated or underrated. Dude, you set me up. <laughs> Such an abrupt you ending. You set me up. <laughs> <laughs> People um, are like, holy fuck, I had no idea he was this gay. <laughs> yes, he really but, is. Yeah, I am. Uh, but anyways, that was overrated or underrated. Thanks, Zach, for participating in that. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, but, roundabouts. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'll give you that. I like it. It started out, it started out innocent enough with roundabouts, right. that but been, we ended with having a ridiculously we high have done. Count. It would have been funnier if you did roundabouts last. last. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. No, I was Just thinking, all cops. I agree. No. I and agree. then some traffic. No, you actually have to look at this the whole way through of, of how I thought about this. Roundabouts. Okay, we're going to start off nice and easy condoms that's the equipment that you're going to have to put on your very large penis and you are going to create a voyeur sex video with your friends and have a ridiculously high sperm count and come on somebody's face i love it i love it there you go um anyways now we get to move on to never have i ever i guess i don't get to say whether i would like to have a large <laughs> sperm count or not i'm gonna take this back and we're gonna go in rewind mode uh i'm sorry uh, mm. how about you mike <laughs> oh i don't have an answer <laughs> you don't have an answer yeah, <laughs> i don't thank think god we went back thank I, god i don't think that i do have one though i because i've definitely <laughs> drunkenly hooked up in hotels with many I would think that I would have gotten. Females. I would think I would have gotten a phone call by now oh, if I had good. a high sperm count. No, they just can't find you. But I have smoked weed for a long time. I've heard that that, that does that probably does, not. it doesn't eliminate them. It just slows them down. Yeah, mm. they're like they We're just don't coming, care dude. as much. They're like, oh, get there when I get there. So they only come out when I come for the second time, <laughs> and I usually just do that at home after I leave. <laughs> okay, great. God, that was hot. Yeah. Right. Off to yeah. It. Why am I by myself again? <laughs> I could have stayed with her and been happy forever. Why do I just have my socks on right now? Oh, Lord. I, uh, I, yesterday, by the way, is the last time I trimmed my... Hey! Very good. Very good. I made a See, solid fingernails freshly. Nice. Look at that. If you look at my hindsight app, my fingernail and toenail things are 20 minutes apart. Oh, I, very nice. That's so weird. I did one and then. But the yeah, let's move on to never have I ever. Um, uh, Braxton Lint, you have quite a few uh, suggestions on the show, so good job to you. And we're going to kick off with the very first one from Braxton Lint. He wants to know. Can you say Braxton Lint again? Nope. Oh, okay. Never have I ever drove out of my way to follow an emergency vehicle. For sure I have. Have you actually fucking like. For oh, sure I have. You were a chaser? Yeah. Uh, Why? Like the movie. What's that movie? We, Nightcrawler? Oh, have you guys seen yeah. that? Yeah. That creeped That's me mean. out. Yeah. We call them siren chasers. We didn't like them when I was an EMT. Oh, I don't care what you like. I'm just saying. They're just in no, the way. No, I don't do that. Yeah. I do listen. I don't do that. That's true. Okay. I don't go out of my way to follow an emergency vehicle. That's stupid. Yeah. But 
I do listen to my police scanner when I'm driving because. Yep, you've told us that uh, before. I ride dirty and yeah. I need to know what's going on. And 100%. last night on my way home, I fucking found out there was this two speed traps on Kellogg and they had a bunch of people pulled over at Mays and Kellogg, which is the exit I take to go home. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, dude, I saw both motorcycle cops I'll and the people damn. pulled over at Mon Mays. And what? I was like, holy crap. So it works. Good. What did but you I don't hear like, on the radio? What did they say? Just like when we're they doing pull a somebody, speed trap. No, when they pull somebody over. You get the code and then you get like you get, what they're being pulled over, running their they're stuff. They're running their stuff or whatever. <clears throat> but there's three people that were pulled over on Kellogg in between the thousand block and the whatever block. You know that they're huh. they're sitting there. So yep, yeah. I've never even thought about that. I just go purely off chance. <laughs> right. All, all of my arrests Smart. have been like, oh fuck. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. will. I will say this. I definitely I'm gonna be fucking prepared. I definitely do not chase the sirens, but if there is a car accident in my vicinity, that is a good one. You'll go by. I, I'm gonna try and to I'm get a better weirdo. look. <laughs> I'm the weirdo. No, I just want to get a better look. What oh, happened? Okay. I followed a fire truck once. Uh, I was riding around with my friend Jessica. And <laughs> Me too, but not because I was wanting to go to the fire. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw a fire truck with its mm. lights going, and we were like, not, you know. That I was love when we, firemen. That was when driving around mm. was like a thing to do, sure. you know. So I was like, let's follow it. And she was like, all right. And so they drove through a green light, and as they were driving through it, it turned yellow, and then it was red as I was going through it. But I couldn't see any of that because there's a yeah, big fucking a big fire truck, truck in my way. way. So we go through this light that we see is red once we're halfway through it. And the fire truck with its sirens on and shit pulled over so two firemen could get out and yell at me and this girl that I was with. <laughs> Quit fucking following us. <laughs> yeah. That's so dangerous. You ran a red light. And we were like, no, we didn't. We were right behind you. Anyway. Siren chaser. She cried. <clears throat> All right. Jesus <laughs> they scared her because anyway. Bunch of dicks. Uh, I wish yeah. they'd get out and yell at me. I'm sure you would. Mm. Uh, next one. I want to do a bukkake in a fire station. Yeah. Ne Okay. I'll be the hose. <laughs> Stop I'll it. I'll be the hose. Stop it. I want them all to hose me down. God Would damn Would that it. be a, a convenient or inconvenient superpower to have? <laughs> like fire hose strength coming. Uh, I don't I don't think that would be good. No, that would not be. And thing. like your body could support literally it. Blowing, literally blowing people's back out. <laughs> but you could. Or blowing a hole in the ceiling. Yeah. You could help people though by putting fires out. <laughs> there you go. All right. They'd be good. like, JP, we need you. <laughs> and you'd have to just be like, stop. Hold on, I'm coming. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to focus. God damn JP, it. are you almost there? Oh, all right. Oh, nope. Now I got to start over. <laughs> all right. Uh, again, this one comes from BLT. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever accidentally assumed a fat person was pregnant. I have. Oh, did you speak it out loud? Unfortunately, I did. E mm -hmm. Do you was, regret it to this was, day? It was a lady that I was waiting on one time. Ugh. And I was like, oh, my God, is this going to be your first one? And she goes, first what? And I was like, burger. <laughs> <laughs> and it clearly was not her first burger. No, but yeah, I thought she was pregnant, and I really went uh, with it. And I, I was that was very embarrassing. For so, her. Yeah. Oh, for me, too. Yeah. Uh, so two weeks ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, this is recent. recent. I really did this. Wow. I, yeah. I, uh, I had a, a particular person who I was helping out. And I, uh, I actually said, it's like, well, depending on, you know, when you decide to have the, or when you have the kid, this is a mobile service that can be done at your house. So you don't have to leave the house. She goes, I'm not pregnant. Wow. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's so hard. I'm like, Dude, I'm so sorry. It's I, so awkward. I was like, right? I did not mean that. I just, I, I didn't know Dude, you, you said so a, awkward, she, right? she, she said a procedure and I assumed that she, that she was having a procedure and liposuction. Then, <laughs> The story gets ten times worse. Oh no! So, it's impossible. So, that, so it turns Ooh. out that they she ended up coming back, and I had to help her again. And she probably didn't like that. No, and I again brought up because I was like, "Well, Are you sure you're not pregnant?" <laughs> <laughs> no, no, even worse. I was just, I was Have just you like, checked. No, I was like, so when are you ha scheduled to have your procedure done? And she's like, I did it four days ago. <laughs> and I'm like, it had to have been liposuction. And I couldn't tell the fucking difference. No, it didn't have to be liposuction. Yeah, whatever. she could have no, had it a, was, a boil it was an land off her butthole. It was legitimate, like, 
fat surgery. And it was like, I, I made it 10 times worse and I did not mean to. How do you know it was fat surgery? Uh, I'm just, I feel like just because so she many, said procedure that's, that's and she's fat point. doesn't mean, that's, yeah, that's a good point. There's I guess so many it ways. It could have been a foot surgery. And of course you didn't notice. Let me tell you, she wasn't wearing a cast. So well, I, you know what I'm saying? I mean, whatever. Maybe they just uh, put a, a little bandaid on it. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She's well, fine. She walked Braxton out that afternoon. <laughs> Braxton went great job. I feel like you could have walked yourself out of that easily though. When you were just like, whenever you have a kid <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm just saying like, when whenever. Have Whenever, whenever like so. you long time from now, any times. So. Nope, we're done. No, how about you uh, there, Mike? Have you ever done this? No, I saw somebody do it to my mom once when I was a kid. <laughs> I really did. We were at the grocery store. She cried in the car. Oh, and, but sucks. So I learned at like age seven do to that. not yeah. do that. Don't ever do that. But then I immediately think of Brian Regan's joke where he just words it in one sentence. And he's like, I met this woman the other day. Could have sworn she was pregnant. Let me tell you. And that's basically the end of it. But you just get that like, oh, God, you didn't say anything, did you? Oh, yeah. Of course I did. Brian Regan, best comedian there is. Okay. Uh, next one <laughs> comes in from Travis Chrisman. He wants to know. Never I have some people that would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> is that your thing? Yeah. That's nice. His, that's his Congrats. award. Yeah, you want to see it, man? That's pretty, it's pretty nice. Oh, that's got some weight yeah, to man. it. It's fucking nice. Huh? Central stand-up champ. Central to what? It doesn't, doesn't say. Doesn't matter. It could be it anywhere. Doesn't fucking matter. You can take it anywhere you want. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. All right. <laughs> Good job. Fuck you, Scotty. I gotta, never mind. Uh, next one comes in from Travis Chrisman. He wants to know: Never have I ever been pulled over and pulled out of my vehicle so it can be searched. Tyree Kill, please answer this question. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No yeah. Uh, no. I have. You have? Yeah. Because your car smelled like pot? Yeah. Oh, this has <laughs> happened to me multiple times. Legitimately, JP could be driving a vehicle for like Dude. and not smoking pot, and he it doesn't matter. He gets out of said vehicle, and it still smells like pot. So one of my best friends growing up, his dad, where we lived, his dad was the chief of police. His dad did not like me. Oh. But we were like really good friends. So the cops in town used to fuck with me pretty hardcore. And uh, they used to do this to us. Like, there's a group of us they used to pull over and do this shit to all the time. So, but I have in other places too because yeah. because my car smelled absolutely. And like, makes sense. Do you have pot in here? And I was like, no. Why would you even say that? <laughs> right. Yeah. What a strange, what a question. weird question. Because you rolled down the window and, and a giant waft yeah, just came does. up my nose. It does that. And now I'm high. Uh, how about you, there, Mike? Have you ever been? Oh yeah. Oh, same reason. Uh, yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and DUI and whatnot. Oh yeah. Yeah, true. I had a DUI once too. Uh, believe it or not, no, I have never done this. Never, wow. never have I ever. Absolutely not. That's weird. Yep. Because I'm a good boy. Yeah. You I are. thought I was too, but <laughs> apparently you know, not. Yeah. You run over some trash cans, yeah. bash some mailboxes. <laughs> yeah. Next thing you know, somebody's yeah. mad at you. Let's yeah. just say I'm very lucky. Uh, next one comes in from Reese Newland. He wants to know: Never have I ever want, Never have I ever wondered if helium would make queefs or meefs higher pitched. What is a meef? <laughs> JP, it's a it's a boy queef. How does one do that? You want to see? <laughs> no, not really. Do you suck air into into the pee hole? You don't want to know, man. You don't no, know. Okay, okay, you're right. I don't. <laughs> Okay. And no, I've never wondered that before, but now Arby's, we have the meefs. Now I do. I I think oh, I pushed it twice. I think there are strippers who could pull that off pretty easily. I've Just seen suck it in the helium. <laughs> I've yes. seen the cigarette. That's how I want to know. How's that work? I've seen oh, the yeah? cigarette thing before. Really? In real life, that I know happens? that it's a thing. That's a thing. It's not like cow tipping where everybody's like, No, I seen it, but they're all lying. <laughs> Nobody's ever seen a cow be tipped. Coming from the land of where a shitload of cows are, no. No. Everybody knows Surely a person. You can do that. What? Tip a cow. No. That's, no. Not a th that's not real? No. Not a bit. They no. will run away. Yeah, every time. They're asleep. <laughs> yeah, they they're asleep. You yeah. get between the order <laughs> and the heart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Right. 32 <laughs> belly <laughs> option. <laughs> <on two. laughs> uh, but no, that's not real. Uh, but no, I've never fucking thought about this ever in my life. 
I am now. Yeah, I'm very curious. I'm very curious. We should. I, I'm telling you, there's a chick on TikTok. I have, I don't know who she is. I do not follow her. But every once in a while, there will be this. there will be somebody, somebody that like sends us a video, and this chick, no bullshit, is just queefing on command on TikTok. On TikTok, yeah, she's in fucking booty shorts and shit, and you just, you don't you don't see it, but she's either <laughs> she's either tearing <laughs> ass so badly, or it is a, it is a pussy fart. I don't like that. I don't, I, don't, I don't care for that. <laughs> I don't. What I feel bad for her father if he's still around. <laughs> if he's still you know. around. Oh, how's little Susie doing? <laughs> well, well, she's a little loosey goosey, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, but yes, there's oh, that she's, one chick that can she's juggle. She's very ping pong talented. Balls. We're very <laughs> proud of very her. Very proud. What? I've heard about this chick that could juggle ping pong balls. Uh, yeah, but that's I've, I've heard of that. Never actually verified it. Yeah, that takes a lot of practice, yeah. you'd think. And then we're going to wrap this up with an actually good one. This is an honest one. Never have I ever... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This comes in from Ian Smoke PW. He wants to go, never have I ever been on the news for a good reason. Not getting arrested. Not because you JP. can you can me on command. <laughs> not because you were in the Wichita Home Depot walking into the bathroom and saying I'm about ready to blow this up because <laughs> that yeah, really that happened. happened. I can't remember being on the news. I think I probably was once or twice. But I've, I've been on a lot. I can't yeah, remember I've, being I've, on. I've been on a fair amount. When I was in, I think it was freshman or sophomore year, I was in debate, and we had to do a mock trial. Oh, and, good. And I was the uh, like the defendant or whatever, and the, the way that we d- like knew what our characters were was from court documents, like oh, okay. fake court documents. So, oh. th- so they wrote up like my deposition and quit looking at him weird, JP. I'm telling <laughs> How him. Do you know? I'm, I'm just I looking feel at him. I your just, body. He can see the back of your head move. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so I, I cut all the bullshit I out. Scotty. I look over at you. <laughs> I wore, a, I wore a purple suit and, uh, and I caught attention, I guess. And oh, I don't good. know why the fucking news was at a high school mock trial thing. This, but. this was back in like the, the early nineties where they didn't have anything to report on. And so that's why they did that. I guess so. Uh, no, I've been an absolute loon. I've been an asshole on a dodgeball team that dressed ridiculous. And so we were on the news for that. Uh, I've all, a lot of my sports shit. I was on the news for, I like Um, when you do it on my side. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I've been on the news quite a bit. So that's, it is what it is. (laughs) But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that great is, question, yeah. Ian Smoke. Hey, I wanted I, to, I wanted to you know wrap it up with a good one. Pussy whip. I was on the morning news in Little Rock, Arkansas, just a few weeks ago, advertising the show. Well, good yeah. for you. Good job. I feel like that was a that's good a good reason. one. That's a good reason. Uh, but that's uh, where was I at? That's uh, never have I ever. Now I get to move on to JP's favorite part of every single episode. That's that. I'm pushing buttons too many times. That's where I draw the line. Uh, and we've got uh, we've got a couple of these. Uh, the first one we're going to kick it off with comes in from John Flanagan. He wants to know, at what point do you step out of the current checkout lane uh, you've been waiting in for a while? So what makes you step out of the current checkout lane that you've been waiting in? When I decide it's just easier to steal it. <laughs> 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 I think nobody's really looking. I think I'll just take this. For me, it has it it has less to do with the number of items and the number of people waiting, and way more to do with the skill level of that I can sense yeah. that the cashier has. Oh. If I see her or him, this is kind of a dumb question anyway, because there are no cashiers anymore. I was just getting There's ready. All self checkouts. Nah, not even close. Anytime I, I, I go to the store with my grandma, she we have to go through the person line. Where yeah, do you because go? because she still because okay. she still writes but, checks for her fucking groceries, which is ridiculous. Right. If I see, that's what I was going to say. If I see an old lady with a coupon book or a checkbook, mm. I just get out of that line. No, mm-hmm. even that, a skilled employee can be like, no. bloop, check, zip, all right, you're yeah. good to go, young shocked, lady. They still even accept checks. Yeah. It's debit Dude. card time. Come on. I write checks for my rent. Right? I've got a buddy that that's when fun. we play poker, yeah. like we'll play poker, and he'll be like, yeah, I mean, I'll play, but can you cash a check? <laughs> because he doesn't have a debit card still. That's I've had so people crazy. write checks for Ninja's Hate Crunchy Leaf shirts. Yeah, and you take those. I absolutely fucking do. You figure, you figure it's fair trade since it was fucking four-year-old shirt he's been wearing. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> no shit. 
Uh, I, this is legitimately, I, I can't remember the last time. I mean, I guess it has something to do with the number of items that are in somebody's cart. Um, I'm going to go stand behind like three people who have four items each person rather than I'm going to sit behind some lady that is legitimately getting enough groceries for a month, which that doesn't happen anymore. That's either. very logical. So, yeah, yeah, no, nobody well, you, can afford nobody a month's afford worth of groceries. You, you would think that that would be logical, but <clears throat> the quick, uh, lady can zip through a whole cart of groceries at faster than you the must be, stupid you must be lady. Think, you must think they're hiring way better skilled employees than you, they are. You are thinking, oh, I know that some exist. That's what I'm I saying. And I can spot it. I can look at them. I can tell by their speed. He is still thinking that they have. You ever seen the movie Employee of the yeah, Month? No, I was He's still bring thinking that, that they yeah, have. Think, they have yeah. those competitions right. when the when yeah, the stores no. close to see who's the fastest checker in the fucking West, and that's not how they, they do. do it anymore. These people care about their jobs. Yeah, I'm glad they do. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Roger Colton. He wants to know, where do you draw the line visiting an X rated store? That's a dumb question. Hold on. No, the main reason why I selected yeah, this one, I will, because you're dumb. Well, no, like, well, you are going to go no matter what. That's, <laughs> that's not true. Is it not? No. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? I, I wouldn't because the one that I think of that's an X rated store is Vegas video and that is the sketchiest shit in the fucking town. Cause I hear, I hear they still have a theater that plays porn that people still go and sit in. I'm sure they do. That's where I draw the line. Okay. If you have a st still have a porn video theater circle cinema still open. I'm out. I, what? Is Circle Cinema still open? I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what things it's you guys really, are saying. You think that Vegas video is shady, I bro? I guess. Check out Circle Cinema. It's over on Seneca somewhere. Oh, that makes a, sense. No, dude. And it's back off. And then, the, oh, yeah, you would not like that place. Oh, uh, Sketch. Yeah. The the you, guy that's it behind. It makes Vegas video look like a fucking. <laughs> the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal, dude. It, it, okay, so like you're talking about like the cashier gets out from around the fucking counter and goes and sits in the glory hole kind of shit. That, yeah. Uh, Okay. Like that. All right. That's, wow. Where that reminds this? me. <laughs> that reminds me of a joke. Yeah, it's because that is exactly where that came from. Yeah. What's yeah. who told that joke? You told it to I me. I told it to you. Yes. I can't remember where I heard it. I don't know. But it was really good. You see any other cars in the parking <laughs> yeah. lot? Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> I, I mean, I can yeah. assume. Yeah. You yeah. can assume. Yeah. You're right. Uh, but how about you, Mike? What, like, <laughs> when when you draw the line, you're like, no, I'm not going into that triple X store. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't, I don't really have any Amazon exists. So if I need something to have sex with, I can just order it instead of having to go through the embarrassment yeah, oh, of, yeah. of going to a store. But the only reason I really went, <laughs> I uh, go to meet hot dudes. We used to go in high school and we would get uh, this stuff called maximum impact. That uh, <laughs> was it was technically a VCR head cleaner, yeah. but we would, poppers we call those we gay people call those our, poppers. We would spray it on our shirts and then huff it, and then you oh. get the wawa. You don't have for, to spray it on your shirt; you just fucking unscrew the cap and. Yeah, but then you become it. It's, it's supposed to make you really horny. It doesn't. It does. Oh well, you did it different. Well, you did it wrong, <laughs> or you were just horny already. Well, that could be too. But no, to me, it would just, it made us fall down several times. Like oh, well, that, that'll so do maybe that. Maybe we're doing it stuff, I guess. Cause it yeah. only lasts like five seconds and then oh, you yeah. slowly come back to it. Same thing with whippets. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. Basically yeah. is whippets. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, I can't imagine in that five seconds. Have you ever like, done whippets, horny. dude? Oh yeah, yes. I did. With me the too. cracker and yeah. the fucking balloon and all that. Oh yes. no, I haven't done that. I, we just I did, did it out of whipped cream. I did it out of a balloon. The first yeah, time, canister. yeah, I felt like I was in a video game for about crazy, 10 yeah. to 15 seconds. Yeah. yeah, it really was. It's called, we always call it the wah-wahs because oh. everything is just wah wah wah, oh, yeah. wah. <laughs> yeah. uh, But the last thing I was going to say before we move on was you order your stuff off of Amazon. Do you honestly think that there is not a human being packing that shit that knows your of fucking they game? Don't give a they fuck. don't care. They yeah. don't give a fuck. Oh, no, I guarantee you that they Amazon. They thousands the of shit, things. Every, they don't give a the fuck. The shit that JP ordered. 
orders off of Amazon, there is a dude that's packing this giant dildo into a box going, holy shit, man. No, I don't not. think he is Who at all. Who is no. this guy? Because no, that's the hundredth not. giant dildo right, that he's exactly. put in. Exactly. And he's excited because his company just made an extra yeah. 1823 or whatever it is. And then he sees the name and it that's, says. Those are Timu prices. <laughs> <laughs> it says JP on it, his actual name. And he goes, man, I wonder if that's the same JP yeah, from laughing fans. on the yeah. sidelines. <laughs> that's true. It is hard to have so many fans. <laughs> I get See? recognized all the time. Anyways. All right. And uh, next one, we're going to go back to BLT. I'm going to start calling him that from now on. Sure. Whatever you want. Yep. Uh, I'm anyways, sure he'll love that. I'm sure. He wants to know, where do you draw the line? What has to happen at a party before you leave early? The fucking <laughs> I, cops I showing exist. up. <laughs> what? I said, I have to exist. Oh, man. If that happens, then I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to leave early. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't ever stay for the whole thing. But like when I was back in like college and high school and shit like that, you were just dipping out whenever you saw sirens or heard that they were being called or any of that. You're just like, yep, I'm out of here. This is also why I don't have any times where I've ever been taken out of a police car and my shit searched. I think if somebody gets killed. Well, yeah, I think murder. Like, would All right, be. guys, time to go. Yeah, no, I think murder would probably. Be. No, give me the alternative of that situation where you're just like, ah, you know what? I think I'm just going to hang around. I think I'm just going to sit right here next to this I mean, dead maybe, body. Maybe, dude. Absolutely. If, I don't know. if an enemy of yours. Just in case the cops need to ask somebody saying, details. Yeah, if somebody uh, killed them, then I knew that. They I mean, did. there's several things that if it happened, I would leave the party, but it's very few things and it's few enough that I doubt any. Like if somebody just pulled down their pants and took a shit in the middle of the living room, I'd be like, well, this is over. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, but I, you wouldn't do it because the guy pulled down his pants and shit. You pulled that you're, you're going to leave because of the smell. I'm going to leave because he did it in the first <laughs> place. Like it's gone too far. This I it can saw, only get worse from here. I have yeah. a, I have a story. Oh God. Oh, boy, I was at, how go. long is it? I was at a party once and a dude <laughs> who was a fucking loser who for, was at the party for whatever reason was like, guys, watch. And he pulled down his pants and he lit a lighter and he and was going to light fart. a fart and he shit. Oh. <laughs> That's a, in front of like 30 oh. people and everybody just went to the exits. I mean, yeah, right. Yeah. That's when you leave. I would do that. Okay. too. All and right. his name was. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say JP. We just call him shitty McGee now. <laughs> no, we don't call him anything. <laughs> we don't call him at all. His parents moved. Oh, thank God. <laughs> shortly after. I bet. A weird he begged him. <laughs> He's like, we got to get out of here. We got to get to a new We're school moving district. Or I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this <laughs> that is, is not fun. Uh, no, so. Yeah, this is the last one. Uh, where do you draw the line? This comes from William Payne. He wants to know how much time is too much time watching TikTok. I don't think there's a thing. There's I not. don't think there's no. There's I've not. done it for hours. Yeah, the Chinese people have everything they need to know about me. You know the thing about TikTok, man. You know so many more ads than they used to have. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed how bad it's getting? Yeah, or but how you know like it's getting. But sort of. you know exactly which what they look like. You know every single one what it yeah. looks like. Even if it's one that it doesn't have that little icon down in the left hand first, you know immediately whenever it's well, yeah. turning into one, and you're just like, "Fuck yeah, you!" Yeah, but it sucks. Oh, I hate that. I am like so sorry no. that you have to scroll okay, with your man. thumb, look, dude. Yeah, I can see both sides, but. <laughs> Come on. Look, man, it's been fun. And I've really enjoyed being here. The he last took it too far. I, just, I, I can't too, take this. You don't, too far. You don't shit too on far. somebody is, for that. You want to know where I draw the fucking line? This is where I draw the fucking line. Wieners <laughs> and butts is funny <laughs> and fine. But don't don't yeah, shit dude, on somebody for hating ads. Hating to swipe. Yeah. I, I hate ads too. But yeah, well, I get not the, as much as I do, apparently. No, I buy the premium stuff, so I don't have any. They're premium oh. TikTok? No. Okay, go no. fuck yourself. There's premium there's just, other stuff. There's just, there's just. Extreme. We get it, man. You're rich. <laughs> no. Do you want to hear what a shitty, petty piece of shit I am? I, I was <laughs> yes. using my sister's Disney Plus for a while, yeah. and uh, and it was wonderful. And then I, they got rid of it, so I didn't get it anymore. I talked to another girl recently who was like, "I'll give you my Disney Plus," <clears throat> and I signed into it, and I was watching for a few, a few minutes, and I was like, "A fucking commercial." What <laughs> What is this bullshit? I was oh, there was wow. a moment where I was like, I need to text her and tell her that she needs to upgrade this thing that she's letting me use for free. Absolutely. So yes, I'm a petty piece of shit. That's, That's awesome. So but I. I do appreciate uh, Casey and I love her. And 
and she's wonderful. Uh, so yeah, basically, but lose the fucking commercials. <laughs> it's like a dollar more. A Any month. opportunity you can to get rid of the commercials, take it. It's way worth it. Uh, but yes, but there is no there's there's no time that's too much time yeah, watching I TikTok. Uh, I mean, there technically should be, but there's not. But I think not. I think your phone should just turn off <laughs> if if you've been looking at it for more than an hour. That's you. That's something that you can set your phone up to. We don't all have to follow what you do. It not. doesn't do that anymore. Remember how it, like after about an hour, it was about an hour. It would come up with a video that says. You've been watching too much TikTok. Oh, I hated that motherfucker. But they don't do that anymore. Good. I, fuck yeah. that guy. He annoyed the shit out of me. It was like one o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. <laughs> and he'd come up. And he's like, hold on. You've been scrolling for a while. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah, get yeah. the fuck out of here, yeah. dude. I've never seen fuck that. Fuck off. Yeah. I guess that means I don't scroll too much. I guess. I guess. have literally yeah. no idea what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. All right. Uh, la- do you oh. want to smoke some of the best weed in Kansas? <laughs> I do know what you're talking okay, about when cool. you say that. Just yes. checking. Just oh. making sure where you're scrolling and where yeah. you're not. Uh, <laughs> at jerkmate.com, we really care about right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where we draw the line. And now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We had a couple submissions for this, um, but again, I don't think it was enough time, and uh, I write this at, at work, we and didn't so have time. I, so I had to go home, and a lot of people, yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyways, the first one, I, I just <clears throat> imagine the printer at work having a copy of this shit, right? And your boss, it does. it's like yeah. your dumb yeah. version of Fight Club. 100%. Your boss is like, yeah. "What the hell is this?" Oh, one hundred percent. Um, it's Fight Club. Don't rule, talk about it. Yeah, rule number yeah. one: <laughs> you don't uh, talk about accidentally it. assumed a fat person was pregnant. <laughs> what is this? Is this what you're doing at work? Oh yeah, flavored well, condoms. I never <laughs> said having a ridiculous. What is this? I never said that this particular person was at work. I chose yeah, okay. my words very carefully. No, I just was saying you printed oh. off the thing at work. Oh, I do. I totally did that. Um, but anyways, first question is going to come from Keith Litsky. Um, Who's the guy that you work with? No, he's a douchebag. No. He went around the office and he was like, does anybody have, I do a show. <laughs> yeah, right. Could you guys just write down a pregunta? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> right. Good question. Anyways, Keith wants to know, what's a battery operated item that you think would be funny if it were gas powered? Fucking cell phones. Oh, I think that would be hilarious. So you got to try to fucking use the internet, and you got to fucking pull it like a goddamn weed eater, just and you're trying to make a phone call with somebody. It's louder than shit. That would be fucking great. I don't think that would be great. How about you, uh, JP? Hmm. I didn't really give it that much thought. You didn't? I was going to say dildo. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> but I've got one of those, so it's not that weird. <laughs> Mine just has a ba- car battery. It's like a weed eater. The gas-powered ones are way yeah. more efficient, faster, and they do the work in half the job. Much and louder. The and they spin faster, so they cut the grass. They're much louder. <laughs> That's yeah. right. They're much louder. How about you, Mike? Uh, a Tesla. Okay. Yeah. That Wouldn't that be <laughs> funny? I just think about everything from the nineties. Like you got to go fire up your CD fu- player. Yeah. Your CD player, your television. Who wants to listen to some music? Remote controls. <laughs> Prime it. <laughs> You're, they're like, it's fucking great. The motor is louder than the music. Absolutely. Funny. Fucking air conditioning. Anyway. All right. Uh, next one. This is just a random one. It, uh, let's see. It goes, uh, if you detect it early, you can stop blank. Ooh, this goes with my shirt. What does it say? Wildfires. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you can't. You can prevent them. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. You can if you detect it early enough. If one I mean, pile of leaves, a tiny, like like a pizza size pile okay. of leaves, you could you can get that out. You and you're like, I just prevented early. a wildfire. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my, my, if you can detect it early, you can stop date rape. That's true. It's 100% true. That's true. They, they, they got girls that use fingernail polish now that they can actually dip in a drink and it comes up yeah. a different color. If you yeah. So, yeah, be mindful. I wear it days. all the time hoping that it'll change colors. <laughs> like, fuck. <laughs> every, time, every time I dip it in there and it doesn't change, I'm like, God damn it. Yep, that's Have right. To go but a girl could also again. lace her fingernail in the drug and be like, I'm just testing your drink. And then the dipping sure. of the finger is what puts the drug uh, yeah. in the gentleman's Smart. drink. Smart. Oh, if you detect it early, you can stop Derek Alders from winning another fucking comedy contest. <laughs> good one. That's, that's a pretty good one. I'm Thanks, really buddy. impressed. Appreciate it. I, I, um, if I you detect it early, you can stop premature ejaculation. <laughs> <laughs> like that. 
Yeah, uh, you just like I. Let's take a break for like thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hold on, and wait. Hold on, and wait. She's like, why? And you're like, trust I don't, me. Just yeah. If I tell you, then you won't want to keep doing this. But let's that, just take a break anyway. That's when you pull out and go snorkeling, dog. Uh, yeah. Just saying. But I feel like there's a a hierarchy. So what? Like if I pulled out and and just started fingering her, no. I feel like that would be a step back. No, dude, you're missing. No, no, snorkeling. But man. I'm saying if I did that, that would be, should be weird, right? I don't think so. Because fingering you must not be very good at sex. Fingering though. is below sex, <laughs> and I think snorkeling, as you call it, is below sex also. Uh, so once I don't you're think you at, just came up with a revelation. I don't know. Once don't... you're at sex level, going back is weird this is really weird talking about this when my wife was on the last episode but anyway uh do we all answer that one yeah <laughs> okay uh I, am i wrong i i i don't i maybe maybe you're doing it wrong doing what like snorkeling, I'm snorkeling. you fuck <laughs> i'm saying I we've been talking about it for five fucking <laughs> minutes i'm what saying do you mean what the snorkeling would not come after the sex in my opinion would you snorkel before sex <laughs> I, now I'm confused as to what I. <laughs> yes, you who snorkels before sex, dude? <laughs> Me, of course I do. Yeah. Uh, we should man, that should be a shirt. I snorkel on the first date. <laughs> You're talking about giving oral sex to a yes. female, yes? yes that's yeah. right. right. So I'm not gonna stop having sex to go down on her. I don't know why, yeah, but we I do that. We do that in the gay community all the time. You so, go back and forth. Yes. Yeah. I don't. I don't like that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you prematurely ejaculate. Uh, Could be, I guess. See? I just you think you, know, you make out, and then you do some <laughs> boob stuff, and then some finger I stuff. Snor- I snorkel on the first date. And then some <laughs> mouth stuff, and then sex, and then sex is where it ends. God damn it. We need some sh- We need some t-shirts. For real. We, can, uh, we got some good stuff today. And once I come, I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't want to. What's going on about this? You want me to go down on you? Uh, I'm done. Okay. Like, I'm smoking. We're moving on. I can't on. go down on you. I'm smoking. <laughs> All right, next one comes in from Taylor Moroski. She wants to know rude, offensive questions to ask someone. Will hey, you, you go pregnant? down on yeah, me? Yeah. <laughs> we all said but we just had sex. <laughs> are, are, yeah, and? I, th- I find that to be rude and offensive. Are you pregnant? <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> when are you having the baby? Yeah, when's, when are you due? Oh, when's that fuck. baby due? Oh, How old are you? <laughs> How old are you? Uh okay all right next that's one that's it we that's all we got that's all that we got okay. is this appropriate or one. does this fit in to, <laughs> I there's some people that I've seen on dating apps that I would like to say you're like 100 percent female yes <laughs> oh that's, yeah is that rude and offensive probably see and especially if they are if, they are, if yes. they're not then probably not but if they are then see yes. and that's we're getting yeah. into weird territory yeah. here. good call good call. Uh, next one. Uh, the new, <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, the new slogan. No dwelling. Yeah. The new slogan, I'm up shit creek without a blank. Snorkel. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> that wins. <laughs> okay. Um, next. Um, I, I'm up shit creek without toilet paper is what I was going to say. Well, thank God you said that. Yeah. I, sh- I, if I you, it would have been way better if you just moved on. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're right. Uh, okay. Uh, I had to look over at Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Next one. If you can dodge a blank, you can dodge a blank. If you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> That's cheating. That's what it's from. <laughs> That's what it's you from. Think? If, yes. If you can dodge a uh, paternity test, you can dodge <laughs> a, a kid. 18 years <laughs> of alimony or whatever exactly. it is. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, JP. If you can dodge a faggot, you can dodge AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's good. Oh, man. Oh, I can Lord. say that because I am one. There you go. If you can dodge a transsexual, you can dodge a crossdresser. I don't know about. I don't know. Sometimes I wish you wouldn't talk. Uh, well, I was using. I don't think I'm alone. I was using you as an example. I for get that. it. Okay, no, I get it. All right. Okay, moving on. All right. Last one. Scientists have discovered that prolonged masturbation leads to blank. Mike Baldwin <laughs> at age 43. I was just gonna be like. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
I, I mean, I wouldn't say I suffer from prolonged masturbation. No, I don't suffer at all. Uh, I, I guess when I first read it, I thought just over and over for years. But you meant like over and over all that day. day. Right. I don't do that much. I, I've had a few days where. Just, you know what? All I'm going to do today is fucking jerk off. and. There was a dude in, in high school that got the nickname 13B. Oh, oh that, Amber Alert. Well, I better turn that shit off. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I didn't think they'd be on to me this fast. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you've been down here for a while. I got to go. His name's JP. What? <laughs> Uh, I was just going to say, uh, scientists have discovered that prolonged masturbation leads to being single, which are basically you two guys. So it, leads, the end. it leads to staying single. Staying single, that's but yeah, right. Yeah, the dude got the nickname 13B because he it? apparently yeah. whacked off 13 times I will. and blood came out. Yeah. Uh, I'm not now. Do yeah. Can we not do the Amber Alert no, during no, the Jack Off no, no. Blood yes, joke? Yes, please no. not. Okay. But anyways, guys, that is questions in Perguntas. Thank you guys all who participated. We sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I should have. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I don't remember. And um, <laughs> it's kind of weird because we don't really know who won the draft we know. between JP, my wife, and myself. We I can, know. I can tell you right now, I lost. That's just, <laughs> that's a given. You okay? never know. Nah, I just, nah. eh, kind of know. Which it's just, one's on my button? Yeah, uh, oh yeah. All right, but nice. congrats to that person who won yeah. in Thank the you. previous episode. It's Thank actually kind of cool. You. Whenever my You're wife welcome. comes on the show, a lot of people root for her, and that's awesome. But I'm going to guess JP won. But even if he, even if he didn't. I still won because she's not here. Exactly. That's the way that works. Okay. Okay. I, I want to hear the rest of that song. No, I know. No, that's all you need. It's the same thing. You just need a taste. Over and over yeah. and over and over <laughs> again. That's all it is. But anyways, uh, so ladies and gentlemen, for a good uh, for us being on vacation, <clears throat> we thought I want to Shazam that song and see if it's an, an <laughs> Go actual for it. song. Go for it. We thought of a we thought of a draft, and it, somebody somebody messaged me and told me where that song came from. Oh, it, it is a real song. Oh well, I don't care. It's I don't. Hold I don't on wanna, here. Uh, no, no. Pu- we're push gonna the keep, button no. after I ask. It's too uh, late now. It's already started. God damn it! Ready? What is this song? What? No, it's not. Yeah, see, it's not a real song. We did all that for nothing. Way it to go. just told me what was playing on the. Yeah, it's from a meme. It's from a meme. It's from Gandalf shaking his head back and forth. No, I mean it's not. It doesn't originate there. They got it somewhere. Okay. Next time I come on, I'm gonna have this information. Okay. Scotty's not very happy right now, man. <laughs> Let's move on. Anyways, uh, we we thought of a decent vacation meme uh, since uh, we're kind of on vacation. Um, and uh, it was a bad idea. Uh, so we decided to take a suggestion, which I kind of liked. Uh, and it comes in from Joseph Edward Busson. Busson. Uh, Joseph Edward Busson. Busson wants to uh, have, us, have us do a draft. Which Jeb. Is, <laughs> Jeb, yeah. Uh, but he wants to know the most common things found in the miscellaneous drawer. We all have one. Yeah. Everybody knows what drawer we are talking about. Do you J- have one in your bedroom also? <laughs> JP definitely does. That's that's where he keeps his huge dick. That's not true. That's I have a in my dresser there's a drawer yeah. that is not used for clothing. Okay. But that's not the one I'm drawing items from for this Thank draft. God. Yeah, no kidding. Uh but yes, that's gonna be this week's draft, and uh, we're gonna automatically assume JP won. And uh, I got, I get the Eiffel Tower picks because I came in dead last. But Mike hasn't been here for a week or two, so uh, he is going to get the first overall pick. So Mike, let's kick this off. What is your number one pick out of the junk drawer? Obviously, batteries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fine, you dick. Uh, I'm going to go with um, the thing that you always need to fix random shit around the house, and you always say if you can't duck it, fuck it, and that is duct tape. Okay. Okay. Like that pick for my numero uno. JP, you get two in a row. Uh, <clears throat> flavored condoms. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the joke bullshit. 
It might work. It might work. Uh, and then your second pick? And voyeur sex videos. <laughs> voyeur sex videos. <laughs> oh, my God. This is a very large junk drunk, or junk drawer for you. I mean, you know, it's all <clears throat> relative. This is, this is more or less a cabinet is what this is. I mean. You've got those VHS <clears throat> drawers that yeah, pull yeah. out. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, my next pick is, a, again, a very real one. Wait, don't uh, I get? Nope. Another? We're coming back. And then you get two in a row. Oh, JP was yeah. last. Yeah, Settle J- down, Jody. I'm sorry. Yep. I was Settle down. Chill out there, buddy. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> uh, but yeah. You'll pick when we tell you to pick. That's right. Uh, but there is always like a miscellaneous Phillips screwdriver that's in this junk okay. drawer. So that's what I'm going to go with is a screwdriver. The actual tool, not the drink. Very well. I uh, hope not the drink. <laughs> yeah. How about you, Mike? What's your? You get two in a row. Uh, one. <clears throat> should I be specific or should I just say sauces? You, I mean, it doesn't matter. Yeah, That's sauces. Good. Sauces is good enough. Yeah, sauces like, is just fine because I don't know many people that actually keep sauce. In. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh, you're talking Are about you like the ketchup me? packets yeah. and shit. Ketchup oh. packets, sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. There you go. Taco, Taco like Bell, Bell sauce. Taco Bell yes, sauce. you need sauce yeah. packets. Is yeah. what you're talking about. No, he I'm just s- means fucking I'm spaghetti yeah. sauce. Yeah. Just yeah. Dumb yeah. Ass. Pour <laughs> some sauce you and fucking drawer. moron. Yeah. Like, what the fuck what are you talking fuck? about? Just some Alfredo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fucking, that's, what the fuck's wrong with that's you, how, man? That's how Mike mixes his sauces oh, for his pasta. Like, goodness. what the fuck? Sorry, I feel like an idiot, and you I am. That's okay. As you should, <laughs> yes. my friend. All right, Mike, you get another one. What you got? Uh, this is something that I learned after a, a <clears throat> friend had a, a hospital stay. And that is, you should keep some rubber gloves in the kitchen. Oh, my. Especially if you're working with meat and shit, or like making a meatloaf or whatever. It's so much more convenient to just throw on some rubber gloves. Especially if you're mixing your sauces in that same yeah, that goddamn drawer. drawer. Yeah. Okay, rubber gloves Rubber it is. gloves, rubber, bitch. Rubber. Now say something funny, JP. I just use my flavored condoms. <laughs> you, you draft cheating motherfucker. I've got a good one, and this is... Oh, God. This oh, yeah. means every time he says this, it's like oh, wah, wah. Cause I don't I don't know if I I don't know if a hundred percent of people do this, but I know at least eighty percent of people do this. And they always keep a retired cell phone that has like naked pictures of their previous situations. Okay. And they keep them in the junk drawer and they're dead. So I'm gonna say retired sure. okay. cell phones. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know if it's as great as you thought it was, a lot but it's of people good. voting I'm for telling that. You, I'm telling you. But anyways, uh, JP, you get two in a row. What other shit are you going to tag from the um, show? Let's go with uh, matches. Ma- oh, There's always matches ooh, in there. That's good. I like that pick. All yes, right. You do. And old keys. Oh, that is a good pick. I like uh, that of one. Of course it is. I picked it. Of course it is. <laughs> of course it is. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to go with uh, the spare remotes. Okay. Okay. You know, you got your fire stick remotes. Right? Sure. All right. I guess I'm the only one who does this shit. Okay. Okay. Hold Mike, Mike, pick. you get, hey, it's true. Yeah. Uh, all right, Mike. Great pick. I'm, you're sure to win. All right, probably. Not. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, you get two in a row, Mike. These are your last two. Chip clips. Chip clips? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Okay. I got you. Good. Now I know what you're talking about. All right. And then your very last pick. Um,. I wanted to do a JP thing. I was going to say a very large penis. <laughs> you better not. You better not. <laughs> You're like, that's on <laughs> that's my, my last list. Pick. What large, else is in my junk drawer? A large sex toy. Um, no, mine actually has, uh, oh, fuck it. Just uh, incense. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I've never been an incense guy. I wasn't either until I became an incense guy. Oh, that's shocking. <laughs> and now I'm an incense guy. Okay. It's shocking how you would do that. Um, okay. I had it, and then it fucking left. Hmm. Son of a bitch. Oh, damn it. I can't fucking remember what I was going to pick. And fucking incredible. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, man. God damn it. I had oh there it was now it came back. Uh, I'm gonna huh. go with a flashlight. 
<laughs> Glad Ooh, you remembered that Thank God that you one. remembered that one. Well, because... Fuck, you're going to win this for sure. <laughs> no, I'm not... Hey, at least mine are honest picks. Mine I, are honest picks, too. I guarantee you do not have flavored condoms, because you said they were overrated, sir. And but so I guarantee That's why they're in the you. drawer still, <laughs> instead of being used. Because they were from the 1970s. Hey, man, think what you want. Back before you had Gray Bush. But anyways, uh, what is your last pick, JP? Old hotel key cards. Ooh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. You keep those? I mean, yeah, I do. I always so I end can up remember. I, I always leave with one right. just in case yeah. I need to get back in That's my what I'm room. Saying. I have it in my wallet and I just throw it in there. I just remember being in high school when I first got a wallet that I needed to fill space to look important, and I would keep <laughs> them in, stuff the in there. Fuck yeah, yeah I would. Um, That's kind of funny, I guess. Uh, yeah. I did actually find uh, found this in an old junk drawer at a previous house, and we threw it away at the time. But I actually found an old Blockbuster membership nice. card. Yeah, yeah. Hey. right on for sure. You spelled incense wrong, but you'll fix it. I'll figure. Yeah, before. I'm just using it to write shit down. Right. Uh, any other honorable mentions? Anybody in here? <laughs> I was, I said not, not how it's spelled. Incense. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. You shouldn't have told him. I bet he would have put it on there like that. Sure. That would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah. No, well, you know what? You Fuck should. you. How about this? Pennies. Cents. You yeah, pieces well, of shit. That's a good pick. It Thank would have you. been much better than flashlight. No, flashlight. Or remotes. I, no, dude. These are really things that are in my junk drawer. Yeah, that's and if cool, we, dude. If we I'll want find to, out this week. I'll just go a and bag show it to of you. dicks. I'm going to fucking take pictures. <laughs> no, the bag of dicks are still sitting over there on the yeah, fucking counter. They're over there. JP was snacking on them a couple episodes are ago. These I the, wasn't. Fred was. Are they the little glitter dicks oh. that I've been playing with Some of them, the, the yeah. entire yeah, episode? Yeah. That's right. There's those, and there's a pack of gummy ones up there. Absolutely. Uh, they all came in the same pack. Are eat. they weed? No. no. Oh, okay. I mean, yes. I would eat a, <laughs> if a they were weed gummy if they were edibles. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines, or you can go to X, which is at L-O-T sidelines, and vote for your favorite list of things in the junk drawer. We're going to go with the most valuable things in the junk drawer whenever you're in a sticky situation. Um, all right, that's cheating. But anyways, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang. Um, <laughs> you guys are making me laugh, you sons of bitches. Uh, but yes, uh, this, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> yes this, is uh, this is also brought to you by JP <laughs> and Mike Baldwin. No. <laughs> oh yeah, you hell no, you fuck can't. With me. He can't have my song. Bro. I think he should. Uh, yeah, you know okay. what? Yeah. I think I'm gonna start hitting buttons the whole way, the rest of the way through the fucking show. Uh, oh, yeah, that's see, bullshit. Get a little right bit of your there, own buddy. medicine right there. Uh, but no, uh, this week's I like, laughing. Uh, thanks for playing my yeah, song. You're welcome. Anytime. Happy to do it, Mike. Uh, but yes, this week's uh, laughing. You doing anything next week or the following 18 <laughs> weeks? Because you're the new, you're the new JP. Yeah, that's right. I don't want. Good do, luck with that. I don't want to do <laughs> some of the things. Well, too bad. Uh, you, he'll he'll coach you. He'll teach you yeah. how to do oh, it. Oh yeah. You'll I don't want to learn. Oh, you'll be fine. You know what? It's just it's just a thing you got to get past, and then once you get past it, then it's all it's all downhill from there. True. And, and then you get to start working up to size. That yeah. seems like something like 13-year-old me would get forced to do by his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know it doesn't sound like fun, no, but once you get there, that, you're going to be that, glad you learned that this. That sounds like assault. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is Would You Rather? Anytime you would want to chew gum, you have to chew flavored condoms or... All of your sex toys are gas powered. Mm. That's not even a choice Go ahead. for me. The gum thing. Yeah, the gum thing. <laughs> I do that already. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I don't do it already, but I don't. I don't, know. I don't chew gum. I always chew flavored condoms. <laughs> I don't chew either of those things on a regular basis. You don't me chew. Either. You don't chew gas powered sex toys. No, I don't Why chew not? gum or condoms <laughs> oh. or sex toys. <laughs> hmm. Me, so, I do all three. So the gum thing would be easy, but I also don't really use sex toys all that often. Well, that's good. I have before. Sure. Well. But not after that one thing. At this not point, a, yeah, I'm, not trying, I'm trying to think of which one 
would be more fun. I'm not saying using sex toys for what they were designed to do, but I'm using them. You're going to use as, them to blow off the driveway. I'm just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm going to go, go. I'm going to go with the gas powered sex toys there because you go. I, I like that. I like your reasoning. I too. don't know about you, but there is some piece of shit at work that needs a fucking gas powered vibrating giant dick that needs to be put on his car when he's driving down there the road. Go. I just See? think that's a little bit more fun because I definitely don't want to chew flavored fucking condoms. I'm going with the condoms. Oh, uh, what? I don't ever chew gum, so it wouldn't... Are there? Don't you want gas-powered sex toys? No. For Are the condoms reasons? 100% yeah. unopened? No. They could just be any. <laughs> no, they're used. I don't want to chew a used <laughs> That's why I want condoms. Condom. I only chew the used ones. Every flavor or every condom is flavored after flavored, it's yeah. used. Right. No. It could be several different kinds of flavors. Who wants a flavored condom? <laughs> this is a flavored condom found on the floor of a 7-Eleven. It's like this a Twinkie. A... It's like it's poo on the outside yeah. and cum taste yeah. in the middle. Yeah, perfect. Oh, well, I'm glad both of you guys chewed the, the used yeah. flavored condom. For sure. I'm using mine for practical jokes, and I'm okay with my pick at this point. No, I liked it. I could see uh, myself looking across the street and seeing the neighbor blowing the leaves off his driveway with a giant <laughs> fucking cock and just being like, wow, man. I'd yell. I'd be like, when you're done, come get mine. <laughs> no, my driveway, I mean. No. And, All right. And you can't tell me you wouldn't laugh. That's 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 the point, I think, at this particular junction. I would laugh at a guy pulling out a condom and chewing it, though. That's like coneheads. Uh, yeah, that yeah, is. That is that like coneheads. Cone that's that's a good point. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, hopefully this is not the last episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Hopefully everything <laughs> on the way to vacation is great. And on the way out and back home is also great. That's all I'm going to say. But even if it's not, you, this episode won't even come out. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be scheduled. Oh, you're all, you're gonna yeah. upload it and okay, cool. Oh, yeah, so it will come out. I, I yeah. sorry that you died. Yeah, during exactly. Your thing. That's kind of what I'm saying. So yeah, if it, but, if not, it was a great run. Yeah. We had a great time. Yeah, man. And, uh, and now that Scotty's gone, we can really do a good show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for the memories, yeah. Scotty. Yeah. That's right. I uh, will I, remember. Yeah. You. That would have been a good. If you'd have if I had a program that in, you were good at your job. Jesus Christ. Okay. No wonder we're not getting monetized. I tell you what, you know what? All the technical difficulties from now on are going to be up to JP. You guys are in big. We're going to all sound like we're talking down a hallway all the time. All the time. Fix it. All the time. But guess what? I have a very good feeling that it is fixed because I figured it out, I think. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for a great episode. Again, thank you very much, Mike Baldwin. Thanks for having me. As always, uh, if you get a chance to go to one of his comedy shows, um, he's very funny. Go and do that. MikeIsFunny.com. Uh, there you go. And also, none other than Mr. JP. Hey, that's my song. <laughs> Go, JP. Uh, but, get, but again, it's been a very fun time doing this show. Hopefully I come back alive. Uh, but if not, JP is going to take care of everything. Right, buddy? Yeah, you, yeah. Uh -huh. dude, you and you. Derek are just going to have yeah. a great time. You're, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, All right. Or this is the last episode ever. <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss you too, buddy. I'm going to haunt you, you yeah, fucking I assholes. I you are. I will. Uh, but guys, thank you very just much. You and your socks. <laughs> <laughs> you that's, already haunt me. That's how I haunt people <laughs> yeah, is my socks. Just, yeah. Anytime you're ever uh, just naking around your house yeah, wearing yeah, socks, I just jump out and go, <laughs> ah, <boogie. can't> you. <laughs> you do that shit too. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for doing what you do. Thank you for sharing the TikToks, the Instagrams. We now have a, quite a few more followers on Instagram. That's coming around. Thank you, all nice. of you. Uh, but keep doing what you're doing. That helps grow the show, and that's what we want to do. So uh, thank you guys so very much. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... We hope that every time your parents text you, it's a voyeur sex video. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... Trojan condoms. Pleasure you want protection you trust <laughs> until next time keep, keep laughing, laughing assholes. assholes we will see you later take care